happy Monday. I'm starting off my morning by putting a crock pot recipe into the crock pot. I'm making, it's like a chicken pot pie, except it's like just the filling. It's not like the actual pie. So it's like chicken pot pie filling. And then I'm gonna serve biscuits on the side. So I feel like they didn't, it didn't call for a lot of liquid. I might add some more chicken broth in later if I feel like it's like not enough liquid. I don't know. I think probably what's gonna happen is the cream of chicken I put in is gonna like loosen up and make more liquid. But yeah, I'm excited for that. I just finished up my workout and I wanna have something that I've been dying to try. So I didn't make my athletic greens this morning just cause I wasn't really in the mood. And this is your reminder. If anyone struggles with like feeling like if you do something healthy for yourself, most of the days you have to do it every day. Like, you know, if you're not feeling like something or feeling like doing something, you don't have to. That goes for eating, working out, an activity, whatever it is. You don't have to do it just because you do it every day. But anyways, I wasn't feeling it this morning. But my blood sugar is a little bit low right now, so I'm going to have some orange juice. And I've seen people have their athletic greens in orange juice. In orange juice. <laughs> I have a low blood sugar brain right now. Um, but, you know, I can't really just, it's, it's just, it would be hard for me to just, you know, have a glass of juice for fun without it being a low blood sugar. So, I'm going to have it right now and take advantage of this. I'm not going to do apple cider vinegar in it because I'm doing juice. But, this is also something I've been trying to do, like, I don't know, for a while I was very like, ugh, I don't want juice right now. Like, I don't want, you know, like, to have a low blood sugar. Like, I don't feel like having candy. And so I found ways where it could be exciting. Like, orange juice is really yummy to me, and I never get to have orange juice very much. So I take advantage, and I have some OJ when my blood sugar is low. You know, things like that. Um, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying because my blood sugar is lower now. <laughs> but stir her up. Oh, that's so yummy. I always have to rinse my athletic green cups like immediately or else you never <laughs> get the flakes of green off your cup, I swear. <laughs> also, you guys, last night I had breakfast for dinner with my girlfriend and we made, I'll show you, the Trader Joe's pumpkin pancakes. And... Oh my God, you guys have to make them. They're so good. And I nailed the carb count by guesstimating. So that was a nice, nice little, you know, whatever. But, okay, this is still looking, okay, it's getting a bit juicier. I mean, it's only been like an hour, so it's nowhere near done. It literally has like seven or eight hours to go, <laughs> but, I also got this fun little coffee maker in the mail that I think got delivered. So I'll have to show you guys that later. Anyways, I'm gonna shower. I think I'm going to like do my hair and do like some concealer and mascara just to like feel good. Um, because I know I've talked about it so much recently and then also I'll post videos though where I'm like, oh, I'm feeling better. I, I know I've said it a lot, so I don't wanna like go all into it, but I've just been like really, struggling mentally and I think I'm I'm still not really quite showing that because like I still get so many comments that are like oh like you're glowing nowadays like you look so much happier and like um like I'm so glad you're doing better and whatever and I think in a lot of ways I am but in a lot of ways I'm struggling more than I ever have Call me a pick me, because people are, but um, it's the truth, and I think I've just, it's just like gotten to the point where it's like so frequent that like I gotta put on a face and do my job, and I know you guys like don't want me to like, you don't want me to, you know, hide how I'm actually feeling, and you want me to be honest and vulnerable, and I know a lot of you really appreciate that about me, and um, like, I don't ever want to be unrealistic and be like, oh, like, I'm so happy, blah, 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 when, like, times are hard. Especially, like, I don't want another type 1 diabetic to be like, how is she so okay all the time? Because that's not, that's just not the truth. And, like, 
even like I don't show a lot of the stuff I go through with type 1 diabetes anymore because I just felt like I wasn't open to hearing the judgment and the comments and even the, the honest and kind questions like I just didn't want it and like by sharing it I automatically welcome that and so I just sort of closed that part of my life off but then it's like, but then there's other diabetics who watch my videos and they, I'm sure they think like, wow, like she must have perfect control over her blood sugar all the time and all this stuff. And that's just like not true. And I'm assuming that because I watch other type one diabetics, like there's a YouTube creator, Sadie, who has type one diabetes. And I love her videos because she's type one diabetic, but she rarely talks about type one diabetes. This isn't shitting on her at all, by the way. Like I literally love her videos and I think she's awesome. And I'm sure she doesn't share it for the same reason. But I watch her and every time she does talk about it, I feel so like heard. And it just like, I'm like, okay, I'm not the only one that like goes through it. I don't know why I have this like, this like thought in my brain that like other diabetics like don't have high blood sugars or low blood sugars as if that's like even possible. Like they're a type one diabetic just as much as I am. And so like one time she said like, oh, I like to keep water on my nightstand because like, with high blood sugars, you get thirstier. And I'm like, oh my God, she does have high blood sugar. And it's like, duh, she has high blood sugar. Like she's a type one diabetic, but I don't know. I don't even really know what I'm saying. I'm just, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know what I, where, why I was saying that. I really don't. I have no idea. I, I don't know where that thought started, basically. I'm just, I'm vlogging today. What was, I have no idea why I started that, like that whole thing. Clearly I needed to get it off my chest, even though I feel like I've said it so much recently. But today is Monday and I had a hard weekend, but we're here today and I really wanna have a good week and try my best. Um, so today I'm gonna, sh oh, oh, that's what I was saying. I'm going to do my hair and put on a little makeup and put on like a cutish outfit because I haven't been feeling great. So I feel like that's gonna make me feel a little better. There it is. And then at two o'clock, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. And then at four o'clock, Augie is going to the vet again because I need to give him some vaccines because we figured out what vaccines he needs. My old vet in Florida had to like talk to my new vet and um, he's getting some vaccines today and then some more in I think like December. So that'll be good to have him all up to date. So I have to do those two things today. And then in the meantime, like in the middle, I'm gonna do my best to do some editing, but if I'm doing my hair, we're probably not gonna get much done today, but uh, you know, do I do my hair? Or should I not today and do it like another day, like Wednesday? You know what? I'm still gonna do some makeup and put on a cute outfit, but I'm not gonna do my hair to save time because I do wanna get some work done and do some editing before I have to leave to get my eyebrows done. But Wednesday night, I'm going to Din Tai Fung and I'll do my hair Wednesday morning. Also, I, oh my God, I've been talking for 10 minutes, but I did have a little breakout, kind of. I've like had those bumps on my cheek for like a couple weeks and I start, I, I popped them. I don't know why I did that. So now they're all red, um, which I'm like, okay, what have I eaten? And I don't, I don't think, I think this was just like me picking out my skin. I don't think it's like, I don't know, but regardless, I'm gonna go shower and then I will show you guys my outfit when I'm done. I'm all showered and I am realizing, well, I've known for a while, but like I need a haircut so bad. My hair just feels like really heavy, like down here, like all my layers have just like collected here. It needs like a refresh. I get my hair cut kind of a lot. Um, I mean, I kind of do it like every time I go home and so it's usually about every like six to eight months I'll cut my hair and I haven't got my hair cut since I think it was like May or June. I mean May or April, I forget. But yeah, like it's it's been a few months and I'm just feeling like I need to get it cut and I think like the past couple of times we haven't cut quite so much. I think Next time I go, I want to give it like a nice cut and like these pieces in my, in the front, like we usually cut them to like chin length every time I get it cut. But like originally when we cut these pieces, we cut them to like cheek and I think I want them even like 
shorter um, like a very long curtain bang because my hair is just it's, it's falling flat it needs some more life back into it I obviously love having my long hair and I want to keep it on the longer side but my hair grows so fast it just feels like it just needs like I'll like run my fingers through my hair and it gets like caught at the bottom and that's just like my sign like I need to give it a fresh cut especially because I do style my hair a decent amount so I feel like the hair that's been on my head for a while like gets dead from the heat and I think I do a good job of taking care of my hair despite the heat but even still my hair just needs a cut it needs a refresh so it's feeling like like also it's like falling out of buns it's falling out of ponytails like it's just a lot I need to cut it down just a little bit um but ignore the slippers which I accidentally wore outside twice yesterday which is annoying. Um, nothing crazy about this fit, obviously. I think I'm just gonna wear my blue Sambas. But I'm cozy, but it looks like I put a little bit of effort into it. I'm just wearing this navy blue shirt from Brandy. These shorts I got off Revolve. They're the brand Solid and Striped, I think it's called. This jacket is Aritzia. I'll link everything I can. Wearing my base ankle socks I always wear. And then, like I said, probably gonna put on my blue Sambas or maybe my white Sambas. Ooh, actually, I, they're not Sambas. I'll link them. I always forget what they're called. They're Adidas, though. But they're kind of like off-white like this, and I like the way this looks. So maybe I'll wear those, and they do have red and navy blue in them. So that might be cute. But it's about 12.30. I also want to show you guys, I got sent some jewelry from this brand called The Mid Kids. I will link, at the very least, their like website down below or their Instagram. I don't like they sent these to me so I, I'm assuming they're on they're like for sale but in case they're not I will just link like the company but if they these are online for sale I'll link them but they sent me these really cute little dangly earrings and there was some blue in them so I figured switch it up not wear my big hoops today and put those on but I'm gonna take this off while I'm inside it's like I really really like how fall has been I don't know if this is how it always is in LA but this year fall has been like the air is crisp and cool and breezy but the Sun is really hot so it's like really really perfect weather like it's between like 70 and 80 degrees sunny and like it's it's hot when you're in the Sun but it's like chilly when you're in the shade and at night and in the morning it's chilly it's like really really beautiful weather I'm gonna be honest lately I think what I'm really missing is I'm really missing my friends in Florida but I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm missing Florida. I'll say it. I really have been, it's just like, even though I live here and my apartment's really homey and like, I don't like, I don't dislike living here. I actually really like living here. I still really do love Florida. Like, I didn't leave Florida because I was necessarily like sick of it or over it. I mean, I definitely did want to change and I wanted to change the scenery and whatever. But like, I didn't hate Florida or anything but i do miss it a little bit i think it's because you know it was it was home so it's i've been just thinking about that recently but you know nothing's permanent who knows what i'll do when this lease is up but i'm just trying to work on like being happy with where i'm at right now because like no matter what if i look back on life i miss it like i miss the hardest parts of my life which when i was living them were miserable and I never like I didn't want to be there and I was missing other parts of my life and it's like no matter what once it's gone I miss it so I'm just trying to you know like I will never be 24 living in my first LA apartment again you know so I'm just trying to like embrace it this is me like also convincing myself like as I'm talking to you guys but I want to give this a stir it's looking better it's definitely like creaming up <laughs> you know it's getting like liquidy as it goes on and it's smelling really good I have to leave in about an hour for my eyebrow appointment but um I obviously want to have some lunch beforehand and I made some egg salad yesterday to have for the week comment down below do you guys hate or love egg salad because I'm like I know it's one of those foods that people like yuck a lot of people's yums with it like it's it's kind of in the same realm as like tuna i think because it has such a harsh smell that people just like either love or hate egg salad i'm an egg salad lover just as i am a tuna salad lover but mm, i think it smells so good but i made some yesterday 
And so I know I want to have this. I just don't know what I want to have it with because I just don't know. I honestly might, because I have some peppers, I honestly might like stuff the peppers with the egg salad. Is that like weird? I feel like it's not that weird. Because I do have romaine lettuce, like I could do like egg, like kind of like lettuce wraps, but that salad is for like taco salads I want to make this week. So I kind of want to save it because there's like not that much lettuce in it. You guys. <laughs> I need my phone taken away. I need, I'm going to hire a personal assistant to place my online orders for me so that they can make sure I'm, <laughs> I'm ordering the right size. Okay, if you guys don't know, which I feel like if you've watched any of my videos, you would know, but I have this really bad habit of accidentally ordering like, the wrong like the massive size of something or like ordering a billion of something by accident so as you guys saw i ordered this which i'm gonna unbox for you guys this maca pot i also ordered some espresso to have even have words oh my god how did I not notice oh my god that's bad that one's really bad what am I gonna do with that anyways let's give her a good sniff see if she's <laughs> worth having 12 you guys 12 Hopefully this doesn't like make a lot. I know it makes a lot. Like I know it makes a lot. I don't know why I'm trying to convince myself otherwise. It doesn't even smell that good. Okay. Well, that happened. So. Anywho, I made a snack plate for lunch. I did stuffed peppers with egg salad, some more egg salad on the side. These pumpkin, I think cranberry crackers from Trader Joe's. Rose red, red pepper hummus, cauliflower, and carrots. Yum. Really, really quickly before I eat, I want to get this coffee situation going. So it's, I watched a video and they said that you want the water to be like already mostly hot. Otherwise it takes too long. You only fill the water up to about right there. Then you put the espresso in. Screw this on top. Okay. Then you put this directly on the burner and not too high. And then you put that there. Oh my God. God, it's going. Mm! Oh my god. Wow. The video said when it starts spewing, it's done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I need to try it. It's technically espresso. Um, so, it's like a mini latte. But I presume it's not going to be like super good. So, I'm just adding a little bit of milk because you're not really supposed to pour. Well, you're, it's not, you're not really supposed to. You're not supposed to pour. Oh, it's not smell very good. Coffee onto ice like this or espresso. But I just want to try it. I'm so curious. Also, like a bunch of my metal straws weirdly broke. I need to get more. They're not metal, glass straws. It's not straw, but I feel like if I did better beans or it's like not bad. I just came back inside from taking Augie out and my apartment smells so good from the crock pot, but 
I have this milk and I, I have to leave for my eyebrow appointment kind of soon, but last time I left, it's not three minutes away, but usually the way I work is if I have something, I leave 30 minutes before. If it's like under a 30 minute drive away, you know? If it's 30 minute drive away, I'll leave like 45 minutes early or like an hour early. But like, especially in LA, like with traffic, like you never know. But last time I remember I left 30 minutes early and I was there like 20 minutes early. <laughs> so I'm not gonna leave as early today. I'm gonna like leave probably in like 10, 15. And uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't need to be making this right now because I probably won't be able to finish it. But I just like really want a coffee. I want to make one. And so we're going to make one. But the only oat milk I have is this oats and seeds milk. Oh, there's a literal cover on it. And I don't know why in my head it's like not going to be good. I'm out of espresso beans. Like that was like the last of it. So I'm gonna have to go to Blue Bottle today and get some more. I'm realizing I should have just made it in this Blue Bottle to go cut because it just would have been smarter <laughs> and not dirty to cuts. Also, my hair is so frizzy. I don't know why. Yeah, that milk's a bit odd. <laughs> I'm walking in right now and I parked around the other side of the building and I'm like hiking there right now. But I go to Browse by Nikki, it's in Salon Republic and she's amazing. It's literally 2.07. Like my appointment was at two, I got here um, at like 1.55 and I'm already back out. They always look like a little, I mean they look amazing, but I feel like the first like 24 hours I'm like, why do I look weird? But I'm also so pale right now, literally don't look at me. But <laughs> I, that took no time at all. I don't know who that is right there in me, in my reflection. I don't recognize her, but oh my God, I'm pale. Guys, this is gonna be weird to get used to, like not being kind to tan all the time, but I will be because I'm gonna make sure of it. So I'm going to West Palm in October. I know I told you guys that. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm going to Aruba in November. And then at the end of December, I'm going to the Bahamas. So I'm gonna stay tan. I'm gonna make sure of it <laughs> because I can't, I don't like fake tans, like spray tans or self tanning. It makes me, my skin just feels like, always just feels like not clean. So I won't be doing that. I need a real tan and I'm not going to a tanning bed. So anyways. I, it's 2.08 like I said, and I'm going to go to Blue Bottle because I need to get more espresso beans for my coffee maker at home. But I'm gonna be honest you guys, I didn't, I didn't. That coffee was like grainy. I don't like the milk. So I need to get oat milk so I can make some coffee at home. But in the meantime, I'm going to get a coffee at Blue Bottle because I'm literally, I have to go there anyways and it'll be on my way home. So it's fine. I'm like frantically, oh, here it is. I was like looking through my bag for this. She slayed my eyebrows again. I feel weird though because now I don't have eyebrow gel in and I hate how my eyebrows look when I don't have eyebrow gel in. I think that's partly why I'm like, what is wrong with my face? When I first get them done, it's because I have no eyebrow gel in. I feel like a different person. Blue bottle it is, I am on a, well, I don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. I'm gonna go and listen to Fletcher. <laughs> I've been on a Fletcher kick again recently. You guys, <laughs> am I okay today? Literally, am I okay? I always went to Blue Bottle and I wanna tell you guys about the coffee I ordered. I, just, I fully didn't get beans. That's why I went into Blue Bottle. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm so scatterbrained today. I got a new coffee to try. Um, they have a black cardamom latte. I don't know if it's always on the menu or if it's seasonal, but it's really good. It has like real cardamom in there, but it's also 
sweetened in some way. It's so good. If you like lavender lattes, you would love this. Oh, that's yummy. That's like hitting the spot right now. I love. Okay. Well, I didn't get beans. So, and I'm not going back. I'm literally still parked outside, but I'm not going back in. <laughs> so, oh well. Anyways, time to go back. It's 2.30. I have to leave in a little over an hour to take Augie to the vet. So I guess I'm gonna try to start editing a vlog. We'll see how far I get. I kind of totally forgot that I was gonna do that and I just haven't done that. I got distracted with the coffee. Today's whole vlog is me having coffee mishap. What is wrong with my hair? Goodbye. All right, Mr. Sir, where are you? <laughs> We're at the vet. Are you ready to get some vaccines? Also, you guys, quick little update just because we are a few minutes early. Um, oh, he's been doing like better in the car. I noticed, so okay, I have a theory. I think that, oh, I meant to put eyebrow gel on my eyebrows. Oh, well. I think that when he was younger, like a puppy, he really was getting car sick. And then I think over time, it turned into like less of him actually car sick and more like think Pavlov's dogs. Like he, he saw the car, he got nauseous type of thing. And I think he's like slowly overcoming it, but I know that he he still drools and snots a lot in the car, which is like how he is when he gets really car sick. He will like excessively drool and his nose will run and then he'll end up getting sick, but he hasn't gotten sick in a long, long time. Granted, we're not going on long rides. We're going on like 30 minute max rides, but that is still more than before like his sitter in Florida lived about 15 minutes from us and he always got sick to and from her house but here he I mean lately he's just been doing better um he hasn't gotten sick in the car in a very long time but every time he still does get the runny nose and the drool but the reason I think it's like he's not actually car sick he just gets like I think it's just like his brain associates car with being sick or something because I put him in the car before we even start moving. He's already drooling. I don't think it's, I mean, I'm sure he's anxious, but I don't think that he's just anxious and that's why he's drooling and everything because like when he's anxious in other situations, he doesn't do that. It's like only the car when he's nauseous. So it makes me feel like he just like sees the car and he gets like actually nauseous. like how Pavlov's dogs like drooled when they, what was it, when they heard the bell or something because they knew food was coming, like that kind of situation. He's just been, he's been doing better, um, which is nice because I can take him to like appointments like this and to the sitter and to my girlfriend's house to play with Pluto and like whatever it is without having to like worry about him getting sick. And I even have taken him like right after he eats and he's fine. He definitely doesn't like the car. Like I still have to like grab him and put him in. Like he will not hop into the car, but he is doing better. So that's good. But we're about 15 minutes early. So I'm just gonna chill for a couple more and then head in. But I assume that this appointment will be very quick because it's just a tech appointment where he's like kind of in and out, so. Let's go do it. I forget what he's getting today, but <laughs> he's getting something important. All right, back home, and now that I'm in for the night, I just changed into a cozy outfit. The lighting is weird with the... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, just all cozy. Ew, you can do the dirt on the mirror. I mean, the dust. But I am going to... Dinner won't be ready for two hours because then it'll be the right amount of hours in the crock pot. Look how I, it's literally Monday and I cleaned on Saturday. <gasps> this place gets so dusty, but. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna edit for like at least an hour and. What is wrong with you? 
<laughs> I'm gonna go edit my video. You guys, I keep wearing my slippers outside by accident and it's so gross. But anyways, I just did the final steps for my little crock pot meal. I took the chicken out, shredded it. I would normally just shred it right in there, but I didn't wanna like shred up the potatoes and stuff by accident. So I took it out, shredded it, added the sour cream, and I have the biscuits cooking in the air fryer because it has like an oven mode and there's plastic in my oven if you guys haven't been kept updated with my vlogs. Um, when I turned my oven on for the first time when I moved in, there must have been plastic in there and it melted. I haven't even really tried but I can't get the plastic out and I've been too lazy to like, I just don't want to go through it all. So I've just been using my air fryer but I have these plates set out um, to eat off of because we have a nice dinner. We gotta have some nice plates. And I set the table all nice. I gotta invest in napkins, like real napkins, and like more serving dishes for things like this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this in a cute dish. I have something. You guys, look how delicious this looks. Biscuits, uh, what's it called? Chicken pot pie filling. More biscuits, sour cream on the side, butter in the middle. <clears throat> Looks so good, still steaming and everything. You guys, we're gonna make pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin cookies. Also, did I already say to them? No, oh, wait, I have a vlog after we ate, right? No. The food, the pot pie thing, 10 out of 10, like 11 out of 10. You guys have to make it. I'll link the recipe down below. But now we're gonna make these cookies which this brand is so good. I'll cook them the same as the last ones. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited to see how the pumpkin ones. Oh my God. Oh f That smells so, so, so good. good. It just smells like pumpkin puree. Yeah. Wait, are we gonna say you're excited about what? Cause I'm feeling like I'm like a pumpkin cake right now. After those cookies last You're welcome night? for that. Pancakes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I woke up thinking about them. I know, I told my vlog about them earlier. Yeah. Because I was like, you have to make these. The only thing about these cookies, if you guys make them, is they don't like flatten. Yeah, they stay like, fluffy. Yeah, like they literally yeah, kind of stay this shape. Yeah. Because I, like, I feel like they're easy to burn because they don't ever look done. But you just have to trust after like the, the time, they're done. They just don't, I don't know. Let me make my mom's chocolate chip. Oh, also, I stabbed my, my finger mm. on it. I stabbed my thumb. It's like gonna be so good. Wow. I was opening that my coffee pot package and I like <laughs> took the knife and like just went like that. My hand was underneath it and look, like the knife like literally pierced my thumb. But I know, I thought for a second I was like, oh, there I go. To the hospital I go. You guys should see the look she's giving me right now. <laughs> the same because look she gives me. Every time, every time you pull out a knife to like open something, cut something, I'm like, oh my, f she's losing a finger right, like, like she's gonna lose a finger tonight. Today's the day, like, the top of her finger yeah. is gone. One every day. time. I know, don't I don't that. have knife safety. I know, in my mind. Guys, you don't I have any, <laughs> like, none. I'm always like, no, I have no knife. <laughs> yeah, I need to, oh my god, I'm gonna, can we watch? Me, Alyssa, Mickey, and Hope did the blind deaf yeah. and mute. Can we watch it? Because you have to see. I was blind and I was grating, I think, a carrot. Can we watch it after I've ever shown it to you? No, but I think I've seen it. Oh. I watched your YouTube video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, what I was going to say though was she gives me this look when I'm holding knives and when I'm, my blood sugar is like 40. I look up at her and she's like. <laughs> I'm like, did you do? Did you smell his head? No. Smell his head. Oh, oh clip on it. Guys, after Augie got his vaccines, his head smells like someone's like Whoa. cologne or perfume. It smells so good. Yeah. It smells like he was right on. Like, like in a, someone's like, armpit or something. Like, like a nurse it has all of it right here. Yeah. Damn, Dingle, you're getting the ladies, huh? 325. 10 minutes. Oh, no. Nine minutes. It says seven to nine is a soft and chewy cookie, ten to twelve is a crispy cookie. 
So should I just do 10? Make it like right in the middle? Yeah. But you like it a little bit softer, so I'll just do like a little before 10. Sure. Okay. I'll show you guys when they're done. Go ahead, show them how crazy you are. Uh-uh. Augie. Oh, why is that you? <laughs> what were you doing a second ago? See, he's acting all sweet I now. <laughs> Stop chewing my rug. Your ear, oh yeah, I can't take you. Come here. Come. Come here, Dingle. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dingle. Augie, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me fix your ear. Okay. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> look at these. They look so good. Also, I gave Augie one mini wheat and he's still. Okay, two. And there's shreds on Yeah, there's shreds everywhere. Anyways, I'm also gonna have some shredded, some little shreds. Shreds of milk. I'm so proud of myself because I'm actually remembering to end off my vlog today. But it's 10 o'clock. I'm about to get into bed and read my book. I'm still reading Big Swiss. It's a little bit slow. I'll talk more about it in another video, but I love you guys. And hope you enjoyed today's video. This video felt like my old vlogs, you know, like my Tampa vlogs. Like I, it's all one day, but I feel like I got a lot of footage and I just had a better day today. So I'm glad I decided to vlog because I got a good video for you guys out of it. But I love you all so much, and I'll see you so super soon in the next video. Good night.